So in this module, we're going to again be using the genome browser. And this time we're going to be using the genome browser, browser to look into uh, potential transcription factor binding to specific regions of, of the genome. Uh, so here we can see that we're going to start in the region of MCN. Of course, you can always enter whichever gene you would like to be looking at. In order to simplify this a little bit, we are again going to, uh, instead of representing all of the different transcripts, we're going to merge on symbol just to simplify this before we uh, move forward. And here we are then down to the summarized uh, transcript across MCN. Um, so down below, you'll notice that under the transcript view annotation, there is a track called the ENCODE transcription factor clustered. And this is a compiled profile of around 340 transcription factors uh, that have uh, been chip profiled on a number of different, uh, uh, number of different cells. Uh, and we have then summarized the binding of these chip profiles uh, and aligned them to, uh, to the genome. So we're gonna turn that track on and click redraw. So now what you can see is we're presented with uh, all of the transcription factors that have been uh, chipped onto these regions of the, of the genome. Uh, and if you hover over them, you can see which transcription factors they are. Um, and you do see that there is quite a large number of transcription factors binding at the uh, transcription start site of NICN, which is not, not surprising. Um, so perhaps, perhaps you'd like to uh, alter the visualization so that you can see which transcription factors these are. And you can do this in a number of ways. The, firstly, we want to turn on the names of the transcription factors. So if you go back to the track that you've activated and go to the toolbox, here you can see that you can turn names to yes, and then you can redraw. And now we will be presented uh, with the transcription factor names next to uh, where they were found bound to the genome. Um, you might also think that the names are a little bit too small for the image you're creating or wanting to create, so you want to increase the size of the, of the transcription factor names. And again, you can go uh, to the toolbox and alter the height of, of these specific um, transcription factors and redraw. And now you'll see that you've increased the height that they take up on your specific visualization, which makes it a little bit easier uh, to, to read the transcription factors. So as is the case with other tracks that we've discussed in other modules, uh, once you have activated a track, it is active to, no matter where on the genome you're looking. So we can then uh, go to a different locus and look up uh, the TERT locus, for instance. Um, and you'll see that you will then have transcription factors that are binding to that specific region. Um, just to give a, an example of how this may look when you zoom out a little bit uh, to look at transcription factor binding in genes that lie adjacent to TERT, um, here you can see that the profiles are represented in the same way. However, now it gets a little bit messy and you're going to be seeing lots of different transcription fa factors binding across this large, larger area of the genome. So in cases like this, instead of looking at the individual transcription factors uh, one at a time, as is visualized here, uh, you might want to uh, instead look at this uh, as a histogram of the number of transcription factors binding in certain regions. Um, so in order to, to perform this, we can scroll back down to where we have uh, the track activated. And you'll notice here under the toolbox that there is uh, a category that is called the X-factor count switch. Now the X-factor count switch is a cutoff limit for when it changes from visualizing individual transcription factors to instead showing a histogram. Um, so currently it is set for 3,000, and uh, the current graph that we were looking at above is at 219 uh, base pairs per pixel. So if you were to set this limit to below uh, the cutoff that is defined here, so we'll instead set it to 215, it'll now um, represent the transcription factors instead of individually, but as a histogram uh, of the number of transcription factors binding for these specific regions. And again, this graph is interactive. So if you are interested in looking at which transcription factors are specifically binding uh, in a specific region, you can simply click on this region and zoom in, uh, for instance, to this transcription start site uh, lying adjacent to SLC 6A19 uh, and redraw. And now we're going to again drop below uh, that cutoff limit, which we previously defined. And now you will again be shown the individual transcription factors and where they are binding within this region uh, that you've zoomed in on. Mm -hmm.